back to my channel. I will be doing the CSEC Integrated Science May June 2018 paper one. This is part two video. And if you missed part one, there's a card on somewhere on this video. You can go ahead and click it and watch part one and come back and watch part two. Also, please give this video a thumbs up by pressing the like button. Yes, when you do that, you make this video reach as many students as possible. So, remember, not to skip the ads, just let them play out. And that's your way of saying thank you, miss, for these videos. So, let's get into this video. So, I am up late in the night preparing this video, making the sacrifice, because I want you students to benefit from this video. So, let's get into it. So we had done the first 35 questions already. So we are to pick up from question 36. So it says, which of the following formula is used to calculate the mechanical advantage MA of a machine? Is it A, MA is equal effort into load, into load sorry, B, M A is equal to load divided it into effort. C M A is equal to effort subtract load. D M A is equal to effort times load. So we know the answer is B for this one. Let's go to number thirty-seven. Which of the following? are properties of aluminum alloys that make them suitable for the manufacture of aircraft. Let me read that. Aircraft and boats. Let me read that again. It says, which of the following are properties of aluminum alloys that make them suitable for the manufacture of aircraft and boats. So is it one light? It, our answer options are one light, two strong, three expensive. So is it A, one and two only? B, one and three only? C, two and three only? Or D, one, two and three? So we know for this, it is going to be A one and two only light and strong let's go to number 38 it says the word equation that describes the reaction between aluminum and hydrochloric acid is which one of them fills the equation so we know the equation is aluminum plus hydrochloric acid. Aluminum chloride plus hydrogen. So A. Let's go to number 39. The rusting of iron is an example of A, reduction, B, oxidation, C, precipitation, or D, neutralization? The answer is B, oxidation. Let's go to number 40. It says, which of the following substances must be present for rusting to occur? So what must be present for rusting to occur? One, oxygen. Two, water. Three, oil. So our answer options are A, 1 and 2 only, B, 1 and 3 only, C, 2 and 3 only, D, 1, 2 and 3. So the answer is A, 1 and 2 only, oxygen and water. Let's go to number 41. Which of the following forms a suspension in water? A, soil. B, salt, C, sugar, D, oxygen. The answer is A, 
soil. Let's go to number 42. Which of the following chemicals remove nail polish? A. Borax. B. Acetone. C. Washing soda. D. Methylated spirit. This one is an easy one. We know it is B. Acetone. Go to number 43. The following data were obtained in an experiment to investigate the best soil pH for different crops. Which group grows best in neutral soil? So is it A, we see the crop A, 4.0 to 6.0, the pH values of soil for best growth, B, 6 Point zero to eight point zero, C eight point zero to ten point zero, D ten point zero to twelve point zero. So the pH value would be that would be B. Let's go to number forty four. Hard water is water that a is frozen, B contains a high concentration of chemicals, C forms lather easily with soap, D does not form lather easily with soap. So it would be D does not form lather easily with soap. Let's go to number 45. How many planets are in our solar system? We know this is an easy one. That is A, 8. 46. Which of the fallen is the hottest planet? A, Mars, B, Earth, C, Venus, D, Mercury. Which one would you say? Well, if you said... Mercury, you're correct. D. Let's go to number 47. Here we go. It says the eye of a hurricane is the A, center of the hurricane, B, path along which the hurricane is moving, C, Region in which the hurricane is located, or D, front, where the winds reach the speed of a standard hurricane. The answer is A, the center of the hurricane. Let's go to number 48. Decayed organic matter in soil is called A, sand. B, you must see sediment, D, limestone. We know it is B. Let's go to number 49. Which of the following practices prevent soil erosion? One, planting along the contour. Two, building terraces. Three, keeping ground cover. Our answer options are A, 1 and 2 only, B, 1 and 3 only, C, 2 and 3 only, D, 1, 2 and 3. So the answer is D. All of them. 50 says, a non-moving boundary between two air masses is called A, a front, a colder front, B, a warm front, C, a stationary front, D, an occl occluded front. So we know that is going to, what would you say is the answer for this? We know it is C, a stationary front. 51 says, which of the following tides occur 
when there is a full moon, A, low tide, B, high tide, C, nape tide, D, spring tide. The answer is D, spring tide. Go to number 52. Which of the following processes results in water moving from the ocean to the atmosphere? A. Respiration. B. Precipitation. C. Evaporation. D. <coughs> Sorry. Condensation. <coughs> Sorry about that. So the answer is C evaporation. Score number 53. The type of fishing that is most damaging to the aquatic environment is A. Trawling, B. Long lining, C. Spear fishing, D. Using fish pots. The answer is A. Trawling. 54. Which unique property of water allows small insects and spiders to be able to walk or glide across its surface? A. Identity. Density. B. Surface tension. C. Boiling point of 100 degrees Celsius. D. High specific heat capacity. So this is B. Surface tension. Go to number 55. Hazards can arise while scuba diving because of one, a lack of oxygen, two, high pressure, three, two, rapid and ascent to the surface. Or answer options A, one and two only, B, one and three only, C, two and three only, D, one, two and three. So that is D, all of them. Let's go to number 56. Which of the following is not an alternative source of energy? A, solar. B, wind. C, candle. D, wave. This is C, candle. All of the others are 57. The type of energy contained in fossil fuels is A, solar, B, kinetic, C, chemical, D, electrical. The answer is C, chemical. Number 58. Which of the following sources of energy is non-renewable? A, coal, B, wind, C, solar, D, wave. It is A, coal. Let's go to number 59. Item 59 refers to the following diagram. Which of the following types of equilibrium is shown in the diagram? A, stable, B, neutral, C, unstable, D, chemical. That is A, stable. You can take a look at it. All right, let's go to our final question for this paper. Which of the following diagrams represents an object in a stable equilibrium. So we have A, then we have B, pyramid, and we have our vase, C, and then D, ball. What would be? Remember the question says, which of the following diagram represents an object in a stable equilibrium? So it would be B, pyramid. That would be your answer.
So there you have it. There is your requested video. We have come to the end of this CSEC Integrated Science Paper 1. So we have completed the paper. This is part 2 in its entirety. Thank you so much for watching.